friends welcome to my channel if you are new to my channel I sincerely welcome you if you are new to this vlog hop and I'm just now the first one you're seeing I encourage you to please read the description box it has all the information regarding the other 25 participants and I'll be honest with you it is a list of who's who as far as crafting paper crafting on YouTube and I am seriously humbled to be even included in this group and also there's a valuable information regarding a giveaway after all 26 participants have showcased their card now uh, we all picked a theme and we all wanted all 26 cards to be different now uh, we kind of geared it towards father's day but we could really do anything we wanted to do or just geared it toward masculine so what i decided to do is uh, do a police or law enforcement themed card now that is a subject or you know a theme that is near and dear to my heart it is uh, my husband has been a law uh, enforcement officer for almost 20 years just he eat, breathes and sleeps his job uh, it's one of those things where you know I certainly wouldn't want anything to happen to him but if he got killed in the line of duty today I have absolute comfort knowing that he's doing exactly what he wants to do and so many of those officers male and female are the same way and so this card can actually be for any father you know who's in law enforcement or or just an appreciation card male or female and I want to just give you a little prototype of what I'm doing it is an easel card um, I love easel cards because for a number of reasons number one it is a simple I would consider a beginner skill card it doesn't it doesn't require a whole lot of skill to do these and also it it's impressive you know for someone to receive one of these you know you don't normally find them in the stores very seldom do you find an easel card in a store and and it just looks like you put more effort into it than you really did and i'm sure most of you have seen one but it actually props up like this and you can prop it up on a desk or you know a, a bookcase or something like that and it becomes a keepsake I haven't put a sentiment in the inside yet, but I wanted to just show you what I played around with coming up with my card. Now, just a little bit of trivia. If you've always seen this kind of blue line here and didn't know what it meant, blue the blue line represents law enforcement. The top area represents the public and the lower area represents criminals so it's the thin blue line that is separating us from the criminals you know it might be something you didn't know and of course the heart symbolizes my love for my hero so now let's get started and i'll show you how to create this cute card I'm just gonna put my little pile of stuff over here and pull it out as I need it. Now I just took a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and cut it in half. It gave me a 6 by 12 piece of cardstock. And I put it on my scoreboard and scored it at the 6 inch mark and the 3 inch mark. And then that's all I'll need to do. So I put away my scoreboard and I so I'll go ahead and fold it in half. And then I'm gonna fold it in half again. And that will give me the base of my card. Okay, and so this area right here is where your focal point is going to be for whatever easel card you want to do. Now, my particular card is going to be six by six. I just like the size of that. It's a substantial size card, and of course, you're going to have to make a custom envelope with your punch board or something. But but it just it makes a nice presentation when the easel card is six by six. Back to my prototype. You know, I used my uh, cameo to cut out this bad shape now there's tons of videos on youtube showing how to trace and cut an image of anything you can find on the internet a jpeg or something but i also wanted to show you that if you didn't have an electric die cutter that if you just did a square you could still get the same effect i mean it still looks just as cute now granted i think the badge does you know kick up the cuteness level a little bit but you know i just want you to know that you know if you didn't have you know electric die cutter or whatever you could still do the square and it and it still would work the same exact way and you would glue it in the same spot and everything so i just wanted to go ahead and make that little prototype to show you that that was certainly doable and not get discouraged now we're going to construct our badge for the focal point of the card now before i attach it to the white border i'm going to go ahead and glue my blue stripe on there first because i'm going to trim that off before I attached the white like that. I want to attach that. Okay, so now that gives me my, my thin blue line. All right, now I'm going to just glue it onto my white border. Now, 
Now, I just happen to have some alphabet die letters and but you know you could use stickers you know some people have beautiful handwriting <laughs> let me spell it right and then we might get it going here now i'm going to go back to my card base and then this is where i'm just going to fold it in half again just lay it flat and i'm just only going to put glue right here where my badge is going to be attached It doesn't take much and it really holds it. Just don't, you know, put glue on the top half of that. And this will dry very clear. So if you do any of it showing, it will dry clear. And then the little heart, I just had a heart punch and I put it on a little dimensional square and I'm going to stick it right there. Okay, now for the inside, in order to get it to prop up correctly, there, people do it different ways. Some people cover the whole inside. I, however, I usually don't. And let me show you the inside sentiment. I just cut it out of a piece of cardstock and cut it down to size. The inside of my card is going to say, some heroes wear capes, mine wears a badge in Kevlar. That was just a little saying I found on the internet that I thought was cute. Now, you know, anytime I don't have a, a, a stamp that, you know, I just print it out and cut it out on cardstock and that's usually how I do personalized sentiments. Okay, I'm going to fit it down here in the bottom half. Now, now here is the trick to the easel card is you've got to have some kind of little bumper or something to create a stopping point for the, you know, the flap. Now, what I usually do is just cut a little strip of another piece of cardstock. This is just the perfect amount. Uh, just make sure that it is glued all the way down. And what that does is that actually doubles up the volume of your cardstock and it will allow your easel to prop up like this and you may have to play with it just a little bit to get it to stand up just right but it will you just have to kind of bend it and fold it you know just crease your score lines a little more and it will stand up perfect and then it lays down flat in your envelope and then when they open it they just prop it up like this and then that way when it's sitting still on a desk it is a just a really neat keepsake for male female or whoever you would like to give it to. So I hope you enjoyed this appreciation card. And I would also like to go ahead now and give you the tool in Daddy's Toolbox, and it is an impact wrench. I'm going to put it on the screen now so you can see uh, how it's spelled, impact wrench. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me, and be sure and check out Christopher Allen tomorrow. He is the one and only Christopher Allen, the creator of the Brutus Monroe products. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.